Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 1090 of One Piece today and I want to apologize if you guys hear um, any like noise because there's like a big storm right now um, like outside of my place so I hope it's not like um, too loud um, but um, yeah, like, um, I'm uh, really excited to see what's going to happen during um, this episode, mostly because of, uh, like, how exciting um, the previous one uh, uh, was. There was a lot uh, going on, there was, like, this whole island uh, being, uh, like, completely destroyed, like, erased from um, from the world by, by this, uh, like, ruler of the world, or, like, like, I don't know how exactly to call him, because there's, like, no name or anything... Um, but, um, like, that was just really insane, like, seeing uh, what um, they just did, because, like, Sabu was there and he knew too much about, um, like, this world government and uh, specifically about uh, the Empty Throne not actually being empty. It's crazy how they just, um, like, as soon as they found out about um, Sabu's location, they just erased it and uh, that was it. So, I'm... Um, of course, worried about uh, Sabu. It's, it's it's like I said before. Like they just revealed that uh, he was okay, and now is uh, it's uh, like it's uh, already unknown uh, once again if he's um, okay or not. Um, but yeah, there was um, also something that they like at least implied the fact that um, King Cobra was indeed assassinated. So that is something that makes me really sad. Um, but um, at the same time, like, like one of the good things, or so to say, um, is the fact that uh, it wasn't Sabo uh, who did it. So that was something that I was already expecting. I mean, why would Sabo do something like that? It's not uh, like him. Um, but yeah, like, I want to know more about uh, who exactly killed uh, a, a King Cobra. Maybe they will, like, show more of the things that happened um, at... Uh, at, uh, like, the, rev uh, the reverie, uh, pretty much. Um, and, yeah, there was uh, also this, like, situation with um, the Straw um, at Pirates, so they were, um, like, they are in this, in the middle of this, like, um, in, in, like, these, uh, like, blizzards or something, um, and they actually ended up finding uh, uh, Bonnie. So that was, like, really surprising to see that she was inside of that, uh, uh, like, big uh, thing, like, with warm water uh, and stuff. Um, I have no idea how exactly she ended up there. So hopefully, like, after they get out of this situation, hopefully they will be able to do that, because it's not uh, um, that simple. It's like a big monster below them, ready to hit them wall. Um, but um, hopefully, like, they will be able to, like, deal with this and, like, survive, of course. And then, um, like, Bonnie could probably, like, explain some things. Like, maybe she will be, like, the key to, um, to like, to understand some of the things that happened before. I'm not too sure, but it's uh, just me hoping for more uh, information. Um, but, yeah. Either way, just uh, really can't wait to see what uh, they are going to show during um, this episode. So, hope you guys are ready, and let's start it! <coughs> Man, it just sucks that if I talk for too long, my throat starts, like, acting funny. Man, the moment he started saying this, he just told the marines to hang up and ignore this. I'm not too sure. I don't know how much of it they heard. But if they... I'm not too sure, but I have the feeling that those guys who intercepted the call... They're not going to live for much longer. I'm not too sure, but I mean, considering what they did to this place, because like, of how much Sabu knows, I don't think they're going to trust those guys to just like forget about this. They're probably just going to eliminate them at some point. Man, they never have like a moment of peace. 
<laughs> yep. It's nowhere close to being safe. They're actually going inside? How though? They could use the... How is it called again? Oh, it's mechanical! Yeah, it's not like a seeking, like I was expecting! <coughs> what is that? It's like part of a... Um, it has a number, so... Reminds me of the... like those suits. That the German 66 has. And these episodes are just full of surprises. And it's so nice that they have Jinbei with them now. Like, perfect if something happens and they go, like, underwater. It's also, like... Is there someone inside of that shark or something? Like, driving it? It's something new? It has... Oh, it actually has a name <laughs> of the, like, ears. Rabbit Screw? I wonder how much uh, carrot, like... Influenced this decision, like, the name and... The concept. I mean, I see those ears, I think of carrot. Vegapunk! Wait, I didn't see that before! I didn't see that before! Did they even show it? Like it being written there? Oh, damn! That's not good! Is it going to eat them? Oh, damn! It was kind of on the side, but still. It's flipping them. They're all... Man, this is really not good. Holy start of the episode! Can like Jinbei do something as well or...? Sir, it's like... Busy trying to save them though. Man, this is like one of the worst situations that they could be in right now. The Thousand Sunny, though. I hope it has, like, a way to... Maybe Frankie designed something to make it... Like, go back to normal or something. I don't know, like, how exactly to say it. To make it... Like rise or something. To pretty much not sink. Yeah, about that.
Man, I... I wonder how many weapons this thing has. Considering Vegapunk designed it, it's really scary. <clears throat> Damn. Thousand Sunny. And a lot of them can't even do anything. Like Robin, Brooke. Also, this guy is still... I forgot about him being there. I still wonder if there's someone, like, controlling it, inside of it. Or if it's, like, remote controlled. What was that? Oh, it's Frankie! Wait, Vega Forge? Just reminded me of Frankie, like the design. Man, I'm like so mind blown by this. What is going on? You need to go above. They're like falling so much though. It's really crazy. Yeah, there's this thing. Wait. Wait, Marines? Wait, those are the guys they saved from... Um, it's Tashigi! It's the kids they saved from... Um, what was the name of the place? With... The guy. Caesar. I can't remember the name of the island right now. It's nice to see them again. I remember that Tashiki, like, was in charge of taking them to safety. She's so adorable. I hope they... Yeah. What was the name of the place? Punk Azar, that was it. It's really hard to remember, like, all the places. Like, the name of them. I remember this. That's also where they... They found Kinemon. <coughs> Vice Admiral Doll? Damn. She looks nice. Also, like... I wouldn't say scary, but... Like, she could beat you up. 
Oh, there's... El Mepo. El Mepo. And Ibari. I don't remember seeing these ones before. Oh, about this. Yeah, this was something I was wondering about, and it's apparently something that happened recently. They don't know where it is. Or at least, like... I think they know where it is. They know that Blackbeard kidnapped him, but... It's hard to, like... Get him back. Considering it's Blackbeard we're talking about. It's a dangerous place. Oh, that's like the nickname they gave it. The Beehive. Hey, it's nice to see... El Mepo like this. Like, really shows how close he is to... to Kobe at this point. Seraphim. not too sure, but seeing like the way they look, like these things that they have, it reminds me of those screens. Like the Straw Hat Pirates were like wearing some of this, so maybe this is a place they're going to? Are they going to arrive here? Oh. They're here. Oh my god. Of course. Well. Yeah, they kind of need to be careful, like, how much they show. <laughs> They're showing, like, just enough to not, like, cross a line. Hmm. <laughs> Boggy. Of course he would mess it. Her name. Hey, look at Chopper though. It's like so cute like this. <coughs> yes, yeah, stuff happened. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to say it, like, they're so big. I feel like whenever they show things like this, they make them look bigger, like, on purpose. Oh. <laughs> My god. Imagine not knowing about his power and just seeing him doing that. I hope so. I guess they're going to be split right now. Holy... Man, the amount of fan service with Bonnie. I mean, she's really hot, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not like they can just find one ear. There's no like barity around, I'm guessing. Egghead. Wait, this is Vigapunk's place? Wait. I'm sure you have, like, related to Kuma, so I still want to know, like, what's her relationship with Kuma, though? 
So I guess this group is going to arrive at the other place with those kids, right? I'm going by the... Kinda of forgot how those... the eye catchers. That's the name, right? Yeah, these like robots save them, Vega Forge. I'm a bit afraid that it's something that they revealed before. This being a thing, like the Vega Forge, it feels like it's something made to go against Vega Punk. And I kinda have the feeling I might have seen it before. Um <laughs> What is Who's that? She reminded me of Koala at some point, but it's not her. Probably just like... Because of the air color, maybe? Wait, she was controlling it? Scout report and fire. So that was one of... Oh, wait... So she's part of, like, Vegapunk's crew or something? Man, I swear, the moment they showed her, it felt like she was naked, but it's just... This... Wait, that's Vegapunk! Did I read that right? She's Vegapunk! Oh my god! I was like here, like... Uh, expecting her to at least like... To be like, related to him. It was like, starting to look like that. She was like, talking about controlling that shark and stuff. Man, I don't even know what to think about. I'm like... <laughs> I need to calm down because I'm just like... Holy revelation! Okay, I want to start like by saying that I was like thinking that Vega Forge was, was something made to go against uh, like Vega Punk, but apparently that's not the case, right? It's probably like just part of the name that they give to these things, probably a prototype or something. Like Vega Punk is probably like. I'm not too sure, like, I was thinking that Vegapunk was, like, the finished product, like, like, maybe when they put that name on, on these things, it's because they are uh, complete, and maybe v Vegaforge were, was, like, something, like, a name given to, like, the prototypes, maybe it's the other way around, like, I'm not too sure, but, man, I was not expecting this girl, like, coming out of this, um, of this, like, machine or something, to actually be Vegapunk herself, even. I thought it was, like, uh, this, uh, this guy, like... And, like, I was expecting some someone old as well, because I believe it's someone that's been around for, um, for a really long time, right? I can't remember clearly, but um, I have, like, this vague idea of uh, it being like that, so... Again, it's just, like, a really big revelation that... This is actually Vegapunk. I was like uh, even saying that maybe it's someone working for Vegapunk. But it's Vegapunk herself. And it's like... Looks like really young as well. I mean, I'm not too sure. Could Vegapunk also be... Like one of these pacifistas? Like have these... Uh, like not be one of them, but to pretty much uh, like have the same concept. Like for for her to be like... Mostly like cyborg, pretty much like just uh, just uh, like Kuma. So I'm not too sure if that was uh, if that's it. I'm assuming it's uh, along those lines. I mean, it would explain um, her living for um, a really long time. Again, I feel like uh, she's been uh, alive for um, hundreds of years, but I'm not exactly sure about that. Hopefully, you guys can uh, clarify that um, to me because I think that's something that got uh, revealed before. But again, it's not like they talk about. Um, like, the specifics of Vegapunk a whole lot during uh, this episode. So it's really hard to 
remember at this point a lot um, like of these details that they might have revealed um, like hundreds of episodes um, ago. Uh, but either way, it's just a big surprise to see that these guys that destroy destroy at pirates that they actually cross paths with um, with Vegapunk like man it's just like one thing after the other like the previous episode already being so crazy with uh, so many um, of these um, revelations and crazy things happening and then this episode just casually revealing uh, Vegapunk in front of them like I mean I don't know like how how much more crazy is these episodes can become? But uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm absolutely loving it. Like it's, it's just like uh, been um, so interesting to watch these episodes so far. Like specifically these previous two, it's unbelievable. I'm really happy, really happy about it. And I mean, I even got to see Bonnie and uh, I guess her like attributes or so to say. So that was also something. Um, and I mean, a, a bit of fan service uh, never hurt anyone, so it's always uh, nice to see. And it's uh, also like part of the, of One Piece. It's it's uh, there, like it's it's not like going um, like away or anything. Um, but yeah, I was actually like I keep thinking about these eye catchers that they show. Like it's uh, impossible to to like ignore it, like the way that they look and um, like. I just like uh, remember like when they showed uh, these kids and um, and Tashigi and pretty much like some of the others uh, like it just like um, reminded me of the um, the things that the Straw White Pirates are wearing uh, during uh, these uh, eye catchers. So I'm not too sure. Like it felt like they were going to this place and that they would like get some of these uh, gear but that would also be like a bit weird right because this place is uh, like full of marines and they are pirates so it's not like they would just like uh, wear their clothes um, and be like friendly with them because they, they are wanted so I guess it wouldn't uh, make sense um, in the end um, but uh, either way it was um, nice to see um, Tashiki and those kids being um, Thing, okay like at least doing better and uh, trying to return to um, their normal size so to to go against uh like this um this like thing that um, that caesar made them uh like take before that made them like really big um and yeah like i don't know like why exactly i'm like wondering i feel like they showed this um, this whole scene because of kobe right i mean not uh, entirely because of Kobe, of course. It's, uh, of course, it was nice of them to show these kids um, and stuff, and like to see them uh, doing um, doing okay. Uh, but then there's like the, like the the other reasons, like why they started showing um, like uh, this place. So it really felt like again that it was something like related to the Straw Hat Pirates, that they would end up here um, because of what happened, like going uh, underwater and stuff. Um, but uh, apparently that wasn't the case. So then they started talking about uh, Kobe. So he, he was like kidnapped, apparently he's still with um, with Blackbeard. So that's something that of course I am uh, worried um, about. Um, but um, I don't know like how like what they could do to like um, rescue Kobe at this point I mean they just uh, showed um, how dangerous it would be to even uh, like get close uh, to that place like it's apparently there's this nickname beehive so that's also something to um, to like n n that I have to memorize pretty much um, and um, again like I don't know what they could do to save him. It's nice to see like um, El Mepo, like like I said before, it's nice to see him uh, like this, like showing uh, how like worried he is about Kobe. Really shows how close um, they are to each other, um, and it's one of those relationships that um, it's like one of the the very first uh, like beautiful relationships that uh, I saw during um, during this whole story like they met each other um, almost uh, at the start of um, of this uh, story not like exactly at the start but uh, once uh, um, like Kobe I guess it was actually at the start they saw each other 
even though it was like kinda as enemies, um, when they were like um, dealing with Zoro and stuff, like when Luffy was meeting Zoro, right? There was like there was um, El Mepo acting uh, almighty and stuff because of um, his father. Uh, I think his name is Morgan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Like the that's the first time they at least uh, saw each other, and uh, then eventually they both joined the navy, and then they got closer uh, uh, closer to each other. So it's one of those relationships that um, I always loved um, uh, to see, like uh, uh, pretty much how it developed and like uh, how they started like getting along and stuff. It's something that I always enjoyed. So it's nice to see this um, this happening, but. Again, it's still not good for Kobe because he's uh, like he was kidnapped, and uh, I'm worried. Um, I'm worried about him, and I want uh, him to be rescued. But again, it's going to be really hard. I don't know how they could do um, something like that. Um, but yeah, either way, hopefully they will show something um, about it um, eventually. Like I just want to see Kobe, Kobe. Okay, I mean he's one of my favorites, um, and yeah. Again, I believe they also showed quite some uh, new characters. At least I don't remember uh, seeing them um, before, like uh, Ibari, for example. I don't remember seeing her. I might be be wrong about it. Maybe maybe I saw her like for um, for a brief moment before. Um, but yeah, it's something that uh, I'm not too sure. But it's nice to to see them now, and uh, I'm like excited to see uh, more um, more um, of them. Also, not too sure, but I mean, would El Mapo be like? I don't know. I don't want to say crazy enough, but I mean, it would be crazy to go to uh, Blackbeard's place. But considering how close he is to Kobe right now and how much she wants to rescue him. Um, I wouldn't actually be surprised if he decided to to just uh, like try to do something by himself. It would be insanely dangerous, of course. That's why I like wanted to say it would be crazy. Uh, but I mean, it's um, it's his friend we are talking about, so it wouldn't um, like be crazy to him. Of course, he wants to uh, rescue him no matter what. So I don't know if that's going to be a thing um, or not. Uh, also, there's this girl Ibery that I just talked about. I don't know how close they are to each other. Maybe like maybe they would even go together. Like it's just me like theorizing, trying to like guess some things. But in the end, I'm just going to have to wait and see um, what um, ends up uh, happening. Um, but yeah, again, there was a lot going on. I really enjoyed um, most um, of it. Like it was still like a bit tense at first, seeing them being attacked by this shark, and the shark actually being uh, um, part of Vegapunk's uh, like arsenal, or so to say. So that was that was like really surprising. But then this um, this like uh, Vega Forge, uh, like seeing this uh, this other like machine that uh, that she has, I'm going to have to like get used to Vega Punk actually being um, being a girl. Like again, it's something that I was assuming before that um, that it was um, that it was a man like this uh, this scientist and, and like a bit oldish uh, as well. But again, it's uh, like this, and uh, I have to like get used to it. Um, and um, also. Like, just surprising to see how Vegapunk, like, got rid of uh, the shark, apparently, like, it wasn't uh, up to his standards, like, to her standards, I mean, I just messed up again, like, again, I'm going to have to, to get used to it, I'm sorry about, like, um, messing it up sometimes, um, but, um, again, it's, uh, like, it felt like, um, the Straw Hat Pirates were being saved, but apparently it wasn't anything like that. It was just Vegapunk, uh, like pretty much dealing with uh, one of those, uh, like with his shark. So again, I don't think she even. Um, I don't know if she even if she even saw them or, like, she definitely saved them. So like she was even like, holding their ship and stuff. So. I mean, it's really hard to know. Either way, maybe I'm going to find out more about this during the next episode. Now I'm like really excited about it, and it's um, it's becoming like this. Like these previous episodes, the way they end just makes me like really excited for the next one. Like they always end with these like really exciting moments. So I want to see more of um, Vika Punk during this next um, episode. I still can't forget that she's. Uh, 
an enemy, like uh, uh, considering the, she, the things that she created and stuff and how she's working uh, for the world government, um, it's not like um, she's like um, on the good side, right? Of course, I still need to learn more about her. So maybe this... Um, Maybe these next episodes, maybe by seeing more of her and learning about... Uh, pretty much just learning more about her, maybe it will change my mind about uh, some of these things, but I mean... Right now I find that hard to happen, but um, I might be surprised, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, but yeah, I just really hope that they, that they reveal... Like some things about her during this next um, episode, I mean it wouldn't... It wouldn't like be fair for them to just drop this uh, this revelation and to not show much um, of them um, or like much uh, of her anymore. But uh, I'm not expecting that to happen, considering uh, the fact that um, the Straw Hat Pirates are involved. Uh, they like they are pretty much they pretty much have to show them, right? So it wouldn't make uh, much sense uh, for um, that to not happen. So I'm uh, like really excited to um, to see more of it. I also wonder, but. Like, it felt like um, Luffy, Chopper, um, and Jinbei, and also um, Bonnie, who's uh, with them um, right now. It was, like, obvious that they were split uh, from the rest, but I was also expecting them to be much, um, like, farther, um, like, much further away uh, than they are. At least uh, right now, I believe that they aren't uh, that uh, far from each other. Like, they are pretty much at the same place. But um, maybe on different sides or something. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, like they even said that, uh, like I think it was Bonnie. She said that uh, this is like one of the uh, uh, not one, but literally Vegapunk's uh, lab, right? So and uh, like we just saw um, Robin and the others uh, with Vegapunk herself. So I'm assuming that they are like not uh, that far from each other, but they're probably not going to find each other for a while, I'm, I'm not too sure, I will need to see what they, what happens with them uh, while they explore um, this place, I mean, I'm assuming that there's some defensive mechanisms here, like, so, like, curious people uh, don't, like, mess around and stuff, but, I mean, I need to wait and see what uh, actually ends up happening, I can only imagine um, at this point, um, but yeah, Either way, just really enjoyed watching um, this episode. I'm finally up to date right now, so I need to wait uh, for the next episode to, to be aired to, to watch it. Um, and yeah, really wait, uh, really can't wait for, um, for it um, uh, uh, to happen. So with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.